Before I explain the process of photosynthesis, I'm going to give a brief description on what it actually is. Some organisms are autotrophs, which means that they're self-feeders, and sustain themselves by converting light energy, sunlight in this case, into chemical energy by a process called photosynthesis. Although it occurs in many different types of organisms, the process of photosynthesis takes place in the chloroplast of plants, which is what we are going to be demonstrating in this model. The chloroplasts are found mainly in the cells of the mesophyll II, which is the tissue of the interior of the leaves. You can think of photosynthesis, an anabolic process, as the opposite of cellular respiration, which is a catabolic process. In order for the reaction to occur, as can be seen in the formula for photosynthesis, the plants need three things, carbon dioxide, water, and light energy. Without these, photosynthesis cannot occur. Carbon dioxide, Carbon dioxide first enters the mesophyll II via the stomata, a pore on a plant leaf. In this process, water is absorbed by the roots and delivered to the leaves by its veins. The process of obtaining and utilizing light energy, as depicted by this sun over here, is more complex. The chloroplast has an envelope of two membranes, the inner and the outer. These membranes surround a dense fluid called the stroma in which a third inner membrane is suspended. This membrane system is made up of sacs called thycloids, which is where chlorophyll II, the material that gives plants their green pigmentation, is located. The thycloids separate the stroma from the thycloid space inside the sacs. The synthesis of organic molecule molecules in the chloroplast is driven by light energy absorbed by chlorophyll II. There are two stages of photosynthesis, the light reactions and the Calvin cycle. The first stage, light reactions, is the steps of photosynthesis that convert solar energy into chemical energy. First, water is split by providing a source of electrons and protons, giving off O2 as a byproduct of photosynthesis. The protons used in the light reaction come from the splitting of the previous water molecule. H2O molecules are broken down into hydrogen ions and electrons as depicted before as well as an oxygen atom which is a byproduct byproduct of photosynthesis the solar energy which is which was converted into chemical energy is used to pump these protons across the thycloid membrane or lumen during the electron transport chain this is what forms a chemiosmotic gradient Light absorbed by the chlorophyll II divides the transfer of electrons and hydrogen item, atoms from water to an electron acceptor, NADHP+, plus, which, tempor which temporarily stores them. The light reactions use the light energy to reduce NADP+, plus to NADPH by adding another pair of electrons. ATP is also generated by chemiosmosis adding a phosphate group to ADP and the phosphorylation process. To summarize, the first stage of photosynthesis converts light energy into chemical energy in two forms, ATP and NADPH. That is a source of electrons and can be used as a reducing power. This entire process happens in the thycloid. The second stage of photosynthesis occurs in the Calvin cycle. In order for the first stage of the Calvin cycle to be initiated, energy from the NADPH and ATP that were produced in the light reactions, the first stage of photosynthesis, have to be present. In the first stage of the Calvin cycle, also known as fixation, light independent reactions are initiated and CO2 is fixed from inorganic to an organic molecule. In the second stage, ATP and NADPH are used to reduce a three carbon molecule into a glucose, and then ATP and NADPH are converted 
So these molecules, oops, are converted into ADP and NADP+. So all of these are produced in the second stage, also known as reduction. The second stage of the Calvin cycle can be called reduction because it is, is, it is a reduction reaction because it involves the gaining of an electron. The third stage of the Calvin cycle is called regeneration. And this is when the G3P molecules leave the Calvin cycle and are just sent to the cytoplasm. So they can contribute to the formation of other compounds that the plant needs. Three more molecules of ATP So three molecules of ATP are used in the third stage of the Calvin cycle. And the final products of the Calvin cycle is glucose.